Hi, Ray. We're back again with you, and having just had the results of the first day, we see that you're in the Perkins flight. And now there are uh, 10 flights in today's matches, and in the Perkins flight, you are ahead by five points. Now, the closest in any other flight is between a half and one. Do you have any explanation for this? Well, actually, Steve, the point of point of fact that there's a flight that's three and a half uh, lead, but um, you know the difference between three and a half and five is significant. But you know, and when there are ten points available in each nine-hole match, that five points can go up rather rapidly. Yes, that's you know, true. I know from experience that yes, match that, play, it's not that hard to lose points. Yes, that is true. But let me ask you this: in the Perkins flight. <laughs> Uh, what do you think the chances are that the number two team can gain five points? Well, there's three nine-hole matches left, so all they need I mean, to Ray, is three and a Ray, half of that. You, you have to admit, it's never been done before. It's never been done before. So do you think it can be done today? I think if we play well, it cannot be done. If we play poorly, it can be done. It's as simple as that. And I just uh, hope that we can uh, play as well in the future as we did uh, today. Talking about the hamburgers. But it, well, yes. Uh, John last here. John, do you have a question for Ray? Yes, Ray. Uh, I have a question for the Sados. In a uh, when we were trying to negotiate a, a deal, a, a bet this morning. I talk, I talk about the matches and the teams and the flights, and you talk about all the hamburgers in our flight that we have. Enough of hamburgers out there in our flight, and now we're we're sucking wind in third place, three or four shots back, and you are ahead by six or seven shots. Now let's talk about the hamburgers in which flight and where they're located. Ray, oh John, uh, we've only each of us have only played two of the six teams in each flight, so tomorrow. We may face a much these more guys? difficult competition. What did you feed him? Wait a second. I what just had a new fan guys? come up, and he has a question. <laughs> yes, Bob McCollum, what is your question? What did you feed that team of <laughs> Morningside people who have 16 and a half points? Do you find that unusual that someone could amass 16 and a half points? I think there's a discrepancy in handicaps. I, I think see. They, they got put in the wrong flight. Let me ask you this. Do you think there are a lot of questions going on today about how they could be leading by such an enormous amount? I think they are, and I think the investigator is Steve Bloom. Do you know him? Oh, I know him well. Uh, he'll do a good job. Well, thank you for being with us. And now back to Ray. Yes, Steve. What's the question? Well, it's nice to be with you. Good oh, night. Thank you.